Hello YouTube, it's Osama. And uh, here I have for you today is going to be a overview of what's coming out in August. Now a couple updates that's going to be happening in this video as well. Uh, but for the most part we're just going to talk about a lot of the kits. Uh, not just Gunpla because there's a couple of kits. I think actually really just one kit that is non-Gunpla related but it is from Bandai. Uh, so I don't usually cover like Kotobukiya Kota because they usually come out with you know the Frame Arms Girl stuff or uh, the Megumi uh, devices. Uh, usually like one time or two times a month, so um, it's just kind of like if I'm out and about and I see the kit, I'll buy it, but uh, in these kind of videos, I really like to focus on Bandai related since uh, that's the market I'm really into and everything else is kind of like if I'm out and about and I see something from a third party, so well, not, not third party, but from another uh, party, I'll go ahead and pick it up if I really like it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at uh, you know some of these kits. So the first kit that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the High Grade Build Divers World War 44 scale uh, gun demonstrator no name. So I did not even know that this was um, coming out like anytime soon. I thought this was going to be like in September or maybe even October that this kit was coming out. Um, and I apologize, like I know the screen's kind of like jumpy. I, I've I've tried so many screen uh, recording uh, software that none of it records properly. I don't know if it's something wrong on my Mac, but uh, anyways, um, yeah, I didn't know this kit was coming out, and I and not only did I not know it was coming out this uh, in this you know current month, I thought this like I thought it would at least come out like in late August because um, I had just haven't been keeping up with the release dates for a lot of these kits. Um, so the fact that it's coming out this Friday, it's I mean yeah, it's cool because yeah, I get to pick it up, and I really was gonna pick it up, but after like seeing it quite a few more times, uh, seeing it in action in the anime, I'm like you know what, it doesn't really look that bad. Uh, but man, I got so much on my plate already that it's kind of a little overwhelming. So I got to still finish up that uh, Ultron. I want to try and push that out this weekend. And then I got to pick this up and uh, push that out as well. Uh, so the kit itself, I mean, it's going for 1944 yen. I'll probably be able to pick it up for about $1,600. Um, but still, I mean, $16. Uh, that's actually not a bad price for what you're going to be getting. I, I know it's going to be... Uh, not, I don't want to say fairly stick, uh, sticker heavy, but it's going to have quite a few stickers uh, with it. Um, just seeing some like little prototype uh, images I've already seen. So, unfortunately, yeah, uh, you know, easily paintable. So, I don't really have an issue with it. Um, so, coming out uh, in about three, two more days. Yeah, Thursday, Friday. So, two more days will be out. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and pick that up. But it looks pretty dope. I uh, love all the mechanics. I love the, um, I love like the rifle mode of the, uh, the no-name. Uh, weapon. I think that looks well. The no name rifle. I think that looks pretty badass. So um, yeah, it looks pretty dope. Okay, so next we got some hands. Um, they're basically yeah. It looks like they're just normal hands. Uh, they look like they're more for like the Zaku, uh, like the Zeon type suits. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, some of them just it's like the curvature of the hand. It kind of looks just more Zeon as well as the fingers. The fingers uh, just it really has more of a Xeon type look so uh they look really good though um the build hands i think they look pretty pretty decent so if you're into these type of things like me personally i love these uh extra type of hands um because there, there are a lot of old high grades that just have like really bad hands uh, overall uh so these would be good replacements and they have like the, the hands to where you can you know plug in weapons into them or if you just want to have it in a normal standing pose you got those kind of close fists right there to go ahead and um you know, be utilized for those poses. So with them coming in at 6.48 yen, uh, that's not really too bad. So they come out this Friday. Uh, it's a decent price. I'm, I'm not going to pick them up just because I don't really have a use for, them, use for them as of right now. But in the future, if I do need to, if I'm buying a kit, I'm really, you know, putting some work into it, like a full paint job and everything, and it has very bad hands, uh, i.e. Uh, the Unicorn uh, fe uh, Phoenix uh, narrative version. I really should have used some different hands because those are like just bad looking. Um, but I decided against it, so, yeah. Okay, so now you're going to have uh, more of, like, the actual Gundam-type hands. Uh, they call them square-type. The other one was called round-type, but it's very obvious that one's beyond one's uh, more Earth Federation force. Uh, but these are definitely Gundam, uh, more, more Gundam-oriented. Um, they look good, you know. Uh, I think I think these hands are pretty fine. They're kind of more of what you would get for, like, um, uh, the... the the Bill Burning Gundam, like these are this, almost probably the same type of hands, uh, more likely, uh, maybe just like the top, uh, like I guess the top of the hand shield or whatever, uh, the armor on the, on top of the hand, that's a little different, but 
I'm pretty sure those fingers are all the same. They just they kind of look the same. Um, but yeah, that, they look good. Same price uh, coming out this Friday. You know, I'll definitely pick them up if I need them for any projects. All right, guys. So before I actually get into this, uh, the one thing I want to go ahead and let y'all know is uh, more than likely tomorrow, I'll go ahead and announce the winners of my 5K contest. Uh, so it, I, I mean, I'll go if y'all want to go ahead and last minute submit something. Y'all definitely more than welcome to. Um, I would just say go back to that video, look up what the rules are. But uh, in a nutshell, you know, making a banner, making an intro, outro for the channel. Uh, with whoever has like the best entry, you know, definitely wins a, uh, a prize. Um, so I have five entries, I think, so far. Like, yeah, I think it's like about five entries. Um, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and submit something last minute, you're definitely more than welcome to. Uh, just send it to the email that is listed uh, on the, the description of that channel. Um, but I will be, you know, announcing the winners tomorrow. So, you know, while I'm sleeping tonight, you know, I want to, you know, slip a little email that, you know, has the entry. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, deny it. <clears throat> okay, so with the Mazen Kaiser Z, this is the Infinity version. Now, I've, I've seen the beginning of the movie. Uh, it's like an Infinity movie or something like that. Um, but I, I just didn't finish it because I guess I was tired. I, I decided to go ahead and... Um, to turn it off and I was gonna come back to it later, but never did. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, this looks really good. Um, I love the effect parts, especially right there with uh, him shooting the um, the fists and it had like the little flame effects part, uh, flame effect parts uh, behind it. I think it looks really good. Now I do have um, Mizen Kaiser. I forgot what the other one's called, but I have another one from the Good Small Company. Uh, it's like the Model Roid, I think that was the company's name, uh, but I think it was like a sub company of uh, Good Smile. But that one was good. It had a couple of problems here and there with some of the joints and everything. Uh, but with this being Bandai, I have very high confidence in the overall uh, build quality of it and the plastic quality. I think it's going to be top notch. Um, there's no release date exact. It is coming out, you know, th in this month. I do hope that it's not going to be this weekend. I hope it's going to be next weekend. But seeing as we already have dates for the whatever's coming out this Friday and nothing for like the rest of the month, it, it's kind of safe to assume this is going to be a next Friday kind of uh, release. So, you know, I, I'm definitely going to be all about it. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to buy it. I mean, 3,780 yen, I'm probably going to be able to get it for about 3,400 yen. Um, it's still a lot. I don't know what the actual size of it is going to be. Like, I don't know the scaling of them. It has, oh, total height is 175 millimeters. Uh, basic math for Marines. I don't know, it's like about, what, six inches, mate? No, probably five inches. So, um, yeah, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the details look fantastic. So uh, this will be an instant buy. And, um, you know, I can't wait to review it. Okay, and next we're going to have the SD Cross Silhouette Zeta Gundam. Uh, now overall, I, I love the cross silhouette. I've only built, I've only built one, and that was the uh, Nightingale, which I think a lot of people have been saying that it's more of one of the the weaker of the uh, the entire lineup thus far, um, alongside the Crossbone. I haven't really heard too many good things about the Crossbone, but I heard a lot of great things about the Zaku as well as the uh, RX 78 dash two. Um, but I think the Nightingale has been it's just amazing. I love everything about it: the aesthetics, the details, the articulation. It's it's amazing for an SD Gundam in my opinion. Um, now this, it I I'm so happy that it doesn't look like this has a transformation at all. It looks like it's just going to be straight up Zeta, and I'm super happy about that because I'm so tired of Zeta suits that transform because it usually hinders the robot mode in some way, shape, or form. Like the articulation is usually lacking, or um, there's just something about it that's just like it's not really great. It's it's not as articulated. Um, that's why I really want to get the uh, robot Damashi because uh, it doesn't transform and it looks fantastic as a robot mode. Uh, and this, this looks amazing as well. I love, I don't know, I just I love the proportions. Uh, the SD proportions, eh, kind of not so much. Uh, but when it goes into the cross silhouette mode, uh, which I think is coming up about right now. No, it's back. So the next one, next picture should be, yeah. So that's the cross silhouette mode, which looks fantastic. I. The proportions are just a little bit, like the arms are a little bit longer, the legs are a little bit longer. Um, so it looks overall good. And uh, this is one kit that I'm 100% painting. Uh, I'm thinking about doing the Zeta 3 colors, the, uh, the, the pink and white. Um, 
I just I love those colors, so I, I'm more likely going to go ahead and uh, pan those colors. But uh, 1080 yen, and then you attach the uh, cross silhouette frame, coming around $15, so that's not really too bad for what you're going to be getting. And it's going to be released sometime in this month. Okay, and next we're going to have the SD Build Divers RX Zero Maru. Um, now this, now that it's all in color, and I've already seen it without the stickers, because there's a lot of stickers on this kit. Um, I still like it. Um, the SD version, it looks okay. Uh, I don't know why. I guess in the anime, it just looks so much better. And I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I like it way more in, uh, in the anime. But, you know, I guess this doesn't, this doesn't really look that bad. It's going to, you I'm, I'm more than sure, yeah, it's the, uh, internal frame adopts the cross silhouette, uh, cross frame of the SD cross silhouette series. Kind of redundant, but. Yeah, it uses the uh, cross silhouette frame, so it's obviously going to have great proportions. And when it goes into the real mode, or real type mode, whatever they call it, um, it's going to be really poseable. It's going to be way, way better than that uh, the Star Winning Gundam. Uh, in which, I didn't hate the Star Winning. I think it looked amazing. It just, the articulation was horrible. This, on the other hand, looks like it's, it's going to be a very proper, um, like, high-grade-ish uh, type kit. So, um, very, very excited for this overall. Um, you know, the stickers are definitely going to suck uh, because the fact that it has a lot of stickers means it's not going to be a lot of color separation. means I got to do a lot more painting. And I have not decided if I want to do a full uh, paint job on this because I have so many other kits in the backlog that I need to paint. And I, I don't know. I don't want to put it in the backlog, but at the same time, I, I got to get to other kits first. And I just don't, I don't build as fast as I buy. So hopefully this comes out at the end of the month. I don't think so. I think it's going to come out on the third weekend. Uh, of the month, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and purchase it just to get it uh, purchased uh, because I'm very impatient. So, uh, but if any sponsors, if anyone's listening that's a sponsor, you know, you can go ahead and hit me up and let, let me save some of that money. You can, and you can ship it to me. You can ship it to me next month and that'd be fine. But uh, other than that, uh, I'm definitely picking this up. So just expect a review. All right, next we're going to have the High Grade Build Divers 144 scale Gundam Double O Sky. Uh, that's the higher than sky phase. I don't know, higher than sky. I think I'm pretty sure it's just higher than the sky or higher than higher than sky phase. It looks amazing. Um, I actually, to be honest, like I wasn't fully on board with the uh, the upgrade. I just didn't think it looked that amazing. Um, I thought it was kind of like subpar. You could definitely see a lot of age type um, you know qualities into it. Um. I think it looks good though. There's a lot of Destiny stuff that kind of comes with it, especially with, like with the little wing parts. Um, the effects look amazing. So this is a kit I'm definitely buying. Uh, I'm not painting. I don't really see a need to paint it. The colors look pretty good. Uh, they look very bright. So um, yeah, overall it looks amazing. Coming in at 23.76 yen. Um, that's pretty steep, and I'm probably gonna be able to pick it up for about 2,000 yen. 20 bucks. You know, you, you get you get some nice effect parts. So um, you know, it's kind of like you know. I'll pay the extra money just to go ahead and get a nice looking kit with some awesome effect cards. So uh, this is definitely going to be an instant buy. Okay, next we're going to have the High Grade Build Divers Double O Sky. Uh, now this is just the basic version. Um, it looks good. I I don't really know. I didn't really see many pictures of uh, of the mobile suit itself. Um, just looking at it now, the the weapons look very bland. Um, I can definitely probably paint some of it. Uh, just kind of give it some color separation. I'm not sure if it's going to have any extra gimmicks that is just not being shown right now. I'm, I'm definitely not confident that it's going to have some secret, you know, little gimmick. Um, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. So uh, I'm, I'm going to do the same kind of work on this as I did with the um, the Build Diver, the double, double Build Diver uh, kit. So I'm just going to do some detail work and then I'll go ahead and do a flat top coat. And just kind of call it a day. Um, and that kit's amazing. I love that one. So I don't know what this kit is going to be stemming from. It's just, if it's just going to use the uh, the double O um, kind of like frame, I'm kind of guessing. But there's a lot of new parts on there that I'm not sure if it if it's going to have much, uh, if any at all, of older um, you know kits that it's going to utilize. More like the inner frame of the double O, uh, perhaps. I don't really think any armor because the armor looks brand new. So. I'm really excited for this kit. Uh, it looks really good. Um, still, I'm not like highly impressed uh, of it. I'm just kind of like, eh, it, lo it looks good. But since it's the main protagonist mobile suit, uh, you know, from the Gundam universe, 
I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because that's just kind of the collector part of me. Uh, and it's coming in at 1620 yen, so that's a pretty decent price. You know, it looks like you're getting a lot more on this kit um, than what you did on the double uh, O Bill Diver. So, a, what, $6.20 jump? Um, I, I, you're getting more armor, obviously, so I think this is pretty decent of a price. Okay, and for the final of the normal release kits uh, in the month of August, we're getting the Real Grey Sazabi. Now, I have a Sazabi. I have one that's like, I can point to it right there. I have a Master Grey. So, I am 100% still on the fence if I'm going to pick this uh, Real Grey up. Now, it looks good. I've seen the, the kind of scaling with other kits. It's a really, really big uh, kit. Um... It looks good. It has a lot of amazing gimmicks. Um, I'm not. It's not. It doesn't have as much as the Master Grade, but that's a given. Uh, but it does have uh, some of what the Vert Cod does have, and that's a lot of the armor separation. So that looks really good. The weapons look good. The funnels look amazing. Um, I'm de if I if I do pick this kit up, um, for one, I'm not painting it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a detailed build. So I'll I'll put some paint here and there. Uh, just kind of enhance it, get a top coat, call it a day. Um, but yeah, it, it looks good, but man, that price. 48.60 yen. That is a lot. I mean, that's nearly $50 for a real grade. I don't think we've ever had a real grade cost $50 retail. Um, not including like Key Bandar and all that, uh, or third, you know, like third party sellers. This is a very expensive uh, real grade, but it's a very big real grade. So it kind of like evens out. You're getting, you're, you're paying more for the, uh, the the amount of gimmicks as well as the scale. So I am 100% confident that the price tag on this is going to be worth um, of of the bill that you're going to be uh, receiving. So, but once again, if there's any uh, sponsors out there that want to go ahead and you know hook a brother up, you're more welcome to. All right, next we're going to go ahead and just talk about some of the P Bandai kits. Um, I'm I'm not really going to I'm not going to be on these too long. It, this is stupid. Like I'm so I know a lot of people are like really hyped about this kit. I think it looks so stupid. It's basically a ball with some extra legs. It looks like a, a, a weird spider thing. I, I don't know, like or a, a mantis. I just I don't like it. I, even if I find this in the wild, like if I'm out and about and I, I see it, I am just gonna keep walking. Um, one percent not buying it, but once again, hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. scoot up. If there are any sponsors out there? <laughs> just kidding. Um, it, but yeah, it, it's it's not really that great looking, so uh, it's gonna be a hard pass for me. Okay, and next it looks like we have a uh, GM sniper. The high grade GM sniper custom, yeah, I think it's the custom. So it's not the GM command. It's not the it's not the the GM sniper command. So it should be the custom. Sometimes I get them confused, and I cannot read Japanese to save my life. Uh, but yeah, it's a high grade uh, GM sniper. It looks good. Um, I don't know. It, it kind of is what it is. I I have it as a master grade. It's in the closet. I just haven't got around to building it. So. If I haven't built that master grade, I'm not building this. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a hard pass for me. Okay, next it looks like we're going to have a master grade Gelu. I, I'm guessing it's the Yuma colors, like Yuma Lightning, whatever that guy's name. I, I'm probably wrong. I don't I don't really know. It could be a, a mass development uh, Gelu. Um, I've never seen that those colors before, so I don't know where this is uh, originating from. Um, but honestly, I just don't like the Gelu. I think it looks kind of horrible. So uh, I'm not I'm not about it to be honest. Um, so it's gonna be a hard pass. Okay, and now we're getting to something that's pretty damn juicy. Uh, we got the Master Grade Avalanche Exia or Exia Avalanche, whatever you want to call it. Avalanche Exia. That's fine by me. Uh, now this looks fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and click on some of these pictures so that way y'all can see it. Um, but yeah, it looks beautiful. I do have the 1 in 100 no grade, and I, that is an amazing kit. I don't care what anyone says, the 1 in the 100 no grade was phenomenal. I love it. Um, but this, I, I already love Exia as a master grade. And, and this, it looks like it has the dash parts, so like the little skis on its feet. Um, so yeah, the price is 7,236 yen. I will never find it for this price out in, out in town. 
it's more than likely going to be marked up to about a hundred dollars, um, maybe ninety bucks. Uh, I think at the uh, uh, at the lowest. But if I if I'm out and about and I do see this kit, I'm probably going to instant buy it. Uh, it it just looks so good, and I would like to uh, buy this and then probably like go ahead and and sell you know give away or do something with the other Xia Avalanche because I, I wouldn't want two Xia Avalanches in my collection. Uh, but if I do get this kit, then um, I can go ahead and replace the current uh, XA Avalanche I have in my collection. Okay, and the last P Bandai kit that we have for this month, it is the uh, Ground Gundam. Base, it's basically the Ground Gundam with an extra like the the little like parachute pack. Um, I mean, it's cool, I guess. I mean, I, I'm I, I'm a collector, so I do like these uh, type of add-ons. But I'm not I'm not paying you know over twenty bucks. Uh, well, actually, it'll, it'll definitely be about forty bucks out of town. Um, I'm not paying that much for it to be honest. Uh, yeah, I love the Ground Gundam. It was uh, a really amazing kit. You can definitely check out my review for it uh, to know my thoughts on the base kit itself. Um, but I'm not spending that money on a extra, on a different type of backpack. Now it does come with some different weapons. Uh, I think they go ahead and they list it right. Here, yeah. So you are gonna have a different uh, bazooka right there. You still get the uh, the little long shot rifle. You get this. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's it's a missile launcher of sorts. I don't know if it's like a multi missile launcher or like a heat see uh, heat seeking missile. Uh, you get another like missile like tri missile pod or whatever. Uh, oh, you get a uh, little GM head. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then that's the little backpack, and that's it. So you you only get one, two, three new weapons. You get a new head, and you get a new backpack. So to me, nothing really crazy. I don't think it's really fantastic at all. Um, so it's gonna be a very hard pass for me. Um, and I'm gonna give you some uh, quick updates right now because there are some things happening in the month of August uh, that I would like for you to be aware aware of. I can't give much details on where I'm going because you know upset. So um in august no yeah august 7th no august 8th and 9th i'm not going to be here i'll be back in uh, i'll be down in okinawa for those two days so uh i'm gonna try and get some videos made uh the day prior and i'm gonna go ahead and upload them to youtube and have it scheduled to be like i guess shown on those days because I, I seem that there's a kind of um like like edit kind of i don't want to say software but um, there's a tab that says like schedule. So like whenever you click it, like public, private, uh, unlisted. I think there's I think there's a little section that says scheduled. So I'm gonna go ahead and experiment with that and see if I can go ahead and upload a video and schedule it uh, for those days, like two different videos. Um, other than that, let's see. I got actually I don't really have much else going on at the end of the month. Uh, it's more of next month, which I'm I'm gonna be going back to Okinawa and at the end of September. And then at the beginning of um, October, I'll be going back to Okinawa for two months. So in September, I'll be going for two weeks. And then October, I'll be going for two months. And I should be back in the beginning of December. So even though I'll be in Okinawa multiple times, um, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm actually going to be there for the rifle range uh, come September. Uh, and then I'll be at the career course uh, come October and November. So I, I'm just, I'm going to try and make as much content as possible. I like to focus on things at hand. Um, so I'm not saying I'm not going to, I'm going to be completely absent for two months. Uh, I would just say do not expect much Gumpla related uh, content during that time frame because everything I'm going to be building, I need to go ahead and somehow send it back to my place. So I can always go to, the, uh, I'll be on base anyways. I can go to the post office, go ahead and mail everything to my, um, my mailing address here and it'll be all fine and dandy. But, um, you know, I'm trying not to, like, buy a whole bunch of stuff and get a big old box and ship it. So, um, but it depends on what's released. I know I, usually October and November are very big months. Um, so I'm, I'm more likely going to have, have, have my hands tied on this issue. And I'm probably going to buy a lot of kits. Um, but also in the month of August, um, I, don't, I don't know if, the, if I told y'all or not. I'm trying not to keep this video that long. But uh, I do play a lot of Pokemon Go, uh, especially more recently. Um, this Japan's really good for Pokemon Go. It's a big community down here, so I'm always out and about playing with uh, friends and other members of the community. So uh, this upcoming Saturday is going to be the uh, Squirtle and Articuno event, as well as the fireworks display over in Iwakuni. So um, all day Saturday, pretty much from 9 a.m. to like probably 8 p.m., I'm going to be out. I will not be building Gumpla all day Saturday. 
Uh, I don't. I think Sunday I don't have much going on, so I should be able to uh, get back into building, especially my Nightingale. I need to finish that. I'm trying to finish that by next, not this Friday, but next Friday, um, just in time for the uh, the contest to conclude. And then the next Saturday and Sunday for three hours each day is going to be the EV Community Day. And I will be out doing those because it's going to be uh, extra stardust, and boy, do I need some stardust. Um, so yeah, just I like to keep you informed about some of the things I'm doing, so do not expect much content on those days in particular. But that's it for me, guys. Um, <clears throat> definitely let me know in the comments below on what you think about this month's release. Do you think it's pretty good, pretty bad, uh, a little bit slow, too many kits? Uh, what kits are you going to be you know, looking at purchasing, or maybe some kits you're going to put in your wish, uh, wish list? So uh, that's it for me, guys. Uh, definitely thanks for watching, and as always, definitely rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this video, you enjoy the content, and stay tuned for the next review in the near future. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.